how to make a 3D word seat in SketchUp. Pretty easy. But you may not know it, you may not have found it yet. Um, or you may not use SketchUp, or for whatever reason. Here we go. Under tools, you've got 3D text. This little window is going to pop open. From here, we select our font. Now, since Geez, I haven't got many fonts installed on here. Since Halloween's coming up, we'll try to find something that's a little bit, uh, something a little bit scary. This looks kind of weird. I'm just gonna call it. Let's just call it uh, scary. And do it all in capitals. Scary word see. It's pretty. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Oh, Q, just gonna press Q and flip that around. Gonna hit S and scale it out a bit. Oof, it's pretty messy looking. But that's alright. That's alright. Okay. So it's as simple as that. Tools, 3D text, select it, chuck it in, scale it how you want it, bam, you're done. But We'll go through how to get this on Iron View and te textured and uh, some seating ah, pose nodes on it. So first things first, we'll just quickly texture this bad boy. And my texture comes in. Uh, M to move. There's lots of different ways you can texture these things. Um, a lot of people just kind of chuck it on the front and let the side um, warp really bad. Personally, I hate that. Um, even if you, I mean, depends how, you know, I guess you could be feeling a little lazy. And I'm, all I'm going to do with this is basically, okay, I've got that positioned on the top there. Um, I'm not too worried about the sides. Normally I would do the sides separate. Okay, I would do every face projected um, properly so that you didn't have all that clipping. But for this one, I'm just going to chuck that on the top. Select this. Oh, yeah. And when you import these, they're a component. So you can't just... If I was to just uh, explode that, sample it and chuck it on, see how it just kind of goes however the hell it wants to. <laughs> um, doesn't really follow any particular pattern. We want it to project, so we need to double click it. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything. Because we have a lot of little nooks and crannies here on this one. Uh, and project that texture on there. So see it's now it's projected on the top the way it should be. Okay, and then the faces are the easy part. Okay, we now we just go on and, and retexture those, uh, the front and the back. I'm just going to import another one. Oop. Now it's up to you. You could go along and do each letter individually. Um, or split this texture in half, but I am just going to go straight over the whole face with it. No mucking around, just slam it on there, it's still going to be okay. So explode that, double click your 3D text, and I'm just going to redo these faces. And there we go, it's that easy. Now, we need to be able to sit on the thing. So we'll just double check using uh, IMView File Editor. You're going to import a avatar. Whoa, it's much too small. Okay, he's going to select it, hit S, scale it up. I want it at about his waist. It's also a little bit, I want it a little bit uh, stubby, not so, not so tall like that. Okay, it's about at his waist there, that's good. Okay, I'm going to get rid of him. Move this back over. Right, now using the Mesh Out plugin, just drop a sitting node. 
So that one there, mesh out, add pose group sitting. Okay. I'm going to line this one up roughly where I think it should be. And I'm going to save this. Scary seat test. Oh, don't panic. Never mind that crap. It should be really on the actual problem for you. I'll just export that. It may take a little while because we've used a pretty... Oh no, it wasn't too bad. We've used a pretty um, detailed uh, font there. Uh, I've, I've experimented with a few and some it will struggle with if it's like a really ultra detailed font but you sh on the most part you should be okay it'll it might just be a little bit slow I mean as long as it, you're not inputting it as part of like another project that's already like really demanding you should be okay Drive a new product, furniture, import that XMF. What do we call it? Scary seat test. That's it. And bring in the XSF. Oh, can I remember what this thing is called? SSS. Yeah. Scary seat. Okay. Oh, look at that. Needs to go back a bit and up just a tiny bit. Oh, actually, no, that's good there. That's good there. That's good enough. Okay, I'm just going to bring in another one. Get it roughly on the same. Height, same distance from the oh, exit, cancel that. Oh, we're gonna be overlap a little bit. I was gonna be sitting a bit, a bit close, up close and personal on this one. So do that again. Yeah, I'm just gonna chuck three on here for now. Keep this nice and short. Too easy. Control S, mesh out, export, open up, I am view, chuck in that XSF if I can probably find it. Alright, now we have a F3 sitting positions on the uber scary 3d text word sign <clears throat> I'm just gonna load a black room up here because I'm gonna be cheap and use additive textures <clears throat> oh, okay and red reds are pretty Pretty scary colour. We'll just get that scrolling across. That's got a kind of cool effect to it. And the face, we could I'm gonna use like a metal texture. Look at that. Trippy as looking sign. And you can sit on it. That's the cool part. So yeah, uh, I mean there's a lot of these already out there. But if you want to make one, I guess more so the purpose of making this video was to show you guys if you wanted to ever make your own uh, for your own rooms. You know, DJ Cruise and stuff like that your own personal name one so yeah there you have it i hope that uh it helps someone <laughs> i